Well, thanks for tuning in to another one of our Bible assemblies. Boys and girls, staff, it's great to see you again. Really is. Wherever you're tuning in, whatever you're doing, whether you're sitting on the floor, sitting on a chair, leaning against a wall, whoop, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. We are really pleased you're able to join with us today for another one of our Bible-based assemblies, our Bible stories that we're going to read to you, we're going to share with you. We've got an amazing story to tell. But before that, I need to remind you of our memory bag. Um, it's a memory bag, but last week, John, that's me, forgot. I lost my memory about this that was important to share with you the two objects from each story that reminds us of God's stories. We put two objects in here. And last week, the story was called, Everybody Gets the... Gets the... What's the word? Everybody Gets the... Shout it out, kids. One, two, three. Everybody Gets the... Same. You're right. Everyone gets the same. Can you remember the workers that the vineyard owner asked for? He started at the beginning of the day after his breakfast. I need some help. I need some workers. He went into the town... And he's like, excuse me, would you like to come and work? And I'm like, yes, we'll work. We need, to, we need to earn some money. They said, how much will you pay me? And the vineyard owner said, 50 pounds. There we are, 50 pounds. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Give him 50 pounds for a day's work. Well, that was fine. They were pleased with that. The thing is, throughout the day, the vineyard owner kept asking for more help because he had lots of grapes to pick. And how much money did he give even the people that arrived right at the end of the day? They only did an hour's work. An hour's work. That wasn't a day, was it? Not a day's work. They were given £50 just the same. Well, how do you think you'd feel if you'd done a day's work, a nine-hour shift, and then the people you met said, well, we only did an hour. Well, what did you get paid? £50. <gasps> You would be furious! You would be really cross, wouldn't you? You would. Because it didn't seem... What's the word? It didn't seem... It wouldn't seem... Fair. It wouldn't seem fair. No. And we get cross when things don't seem fair, don't we? It's like, that's not fair. That's not right. Ooh. We want to write a letter. We want to shout. We want to send an email. We want to tell someone. We want to complain. Oh, it's not on. That's not fair. Well... God used this story, this story Jesus told it, to remind all of us that God is fair. His love is fair. His attention is fair. He's there. He listens to us when we talk to him. He always cares for us. He sends a son in the morning to remind us each day that he's working for us, keeping things going for us. He loves all of us the same. Even if some, sometimes in life things don't seem fair, because sometimes they're not. Some things don't seem fair for all of us. Think, why is that? Who, he, hang on a minute. We can all get cross about things. But let's remember, before we get cross, hang on a minute. God loves me. And he loves everybody. And he's always fair. Even if people sometimes aren't. Well, we've got put some money in there. We also have got a clock to remind us that in the story of everybody gets the same, the vineyard owner employed people, got people to work for him throughout the day, didn't he? And he started in the morning, he went right the way through lunchtime. Oh, we're not there at lunch yet. Is it lunchtime? Probably not, no. You're probably watching this in the morning. Or maybe in the afternoon, I don't know. Is it home time? Oh, almost. Is it time for, is it time for your dinner, your tea? Is it time for to watch telly, to play football, or to, I don't know, read a story, watch a video, play some games? Is it time for bed? Yeah, it would be by then, wouldn't it? Definitely, absolutely, past my bedtime. We remind ourselves of the story, or everyone gets the same, by having a clock. The clock and the money reminds us that whatever time of day it is, God loves us. He's always fair to us. Well... We'll go back into our memory bag later to come back to the stories. We've got some different objects in there because we're on our third story today. So before, oops, before we get on to our third story today, let's sing our Bible Assembly song. And you can 
maybe sing along, but if you can't sing along, because that's not what you're doing at school, I don't know, you can use your fingers and thumb to join in with the digits, okay? Ready? If you want to know, I know we're built a boat. My good Joseph had a very special coat. How got to dust and gave it life made out of man, then he is white. Where can you find all these amazing things? Look in the Bible, the Bible, the B I B L E, the B I B L E. Look in the Bible, whoa, the Bible. God's book is given to you. Enjoy the story and I'll chat to you at the end. One day Jesus told his story. There was once a farmer who went out to sow his seed. Where's that big bag of seed now? Where is it? Oh, that's right, there it is over there, by that nice tree. And as he was scattering the seed... Beautiful morning, oh what a wonderful day. Some fell along the path. Oh dear, that's landed right by my feet. Whoops, I just trod on it. Hey, you birds! Shoo! Shoo! Leave that seat alone! Beautiful morning! Oh, what a wonderful day! Some fell on the rocks. Oh, bad shot! I can't see that doing much. Dry as bones these rocks are. Poor seeds don't stand a chance. They can't grow up, grow roots without moisture. Oh, well, not much I can do about that. Beautiful morning, oh what a beautiful day. Some seed fell among the thorns. Ouch! Those thorns are incredibly prickly. They've grown really thick and nasty. Not a great place for those seeds to be, but it's too late now. Beautiful morning, oh what a wonderful day. And some seed fell on the good soil. Result! What a shark! Hit the spot, yummy, crumbly, chocolate brown soil. Mmm, that's gonna grow for sure. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. I beg your pardon? Then Jesus said, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. In other words, try to understand the story. What do you mean, understand the story? Well, Jesus told stories with a hidden meaning. They were called parables. The story, this story, is a picture with a meaning. Really? Yes. Tell me what happened to the first lot of seed. Er, uh, I fell on the path, got trodden on in by the birds. Well, yes, that's like people who hear the good news of Jesus, but don't understand it. And the devil t steals it from their hearts, so that they are lost. That's awful. Mm. What about the seed that fell on the rocks? What does that mean, then? Well, that's like someone who hears about Jesus and is full of joy and life until things get difficult for some reason, and their love is not deep-rooted, and they forget about Jesus really quickly. Oh, that's really sad. Well, what about the seed that fell on the prickly thorns? Well, that seed is like a picture of a person who hears about Jesus' love, but is so worried about all the things of life 
but their faith is choked like the seed chokes by, choked by the thorns. <coughs> That's not very nice. That's not nice no. at all. What about the seed that fell on the yummy, crumbly, chocolate brown soil then? Well, now that seed is like a person who hears about Jesus' love, understanding it and grows in it until many others around them come to know and love Jesus too. Your result? Yeah. Who thought it? A story with a hidden meaning. Absolutely. So the story of, the story of, the farmer who sowed seeds. He didn't use a needle and thread, that's a different type of sowing isn't it? Yeah, he threw the seed into the soil, hoping it would grow into plants. So what have we got today? To remind you, we've got a plant, a plastic plant. Plastic so that next week it will still be great in our memory bag and wouldn't be all smelly. Ooh. Well, what else have we got? We've also got some seed. Yes, some seeds. And there is, in fact, one of our seeds. Anyone think, what could, what plant would this grow into? If I planted this, what might it grow into? Let's have a look. There it is. Can you see that on the end of my finger? Yeah. Just one of the little seeds that will grow into a plant. This plant, these seeds, are mustard seeds. They grow into Mustard bushes, if we plant them, yeah. And the story today, Jesus told to remind us to be good soil. So the seeds in our life, all the things that we're learning, all the things we're understanding, that God loves us, that two plus two equals four. Yes, I'm sure, is that right? Two plus two, two add, yes, that's right. I've not forgotten it. I learned it a long time ago. What else are we learning? We're learning to do things. We're learning to balance. We're learning to maybe kick a ball. Maybe we're learning to climb, climb up a mountain. Or maybe we're learning to juggle. Or we're learning to be friends with someone. Or we're learning to understand something in history. Or we're learning to play a musical instrument. Or we're learning to help our family with something they've asked us to do. Or maybe we're learning to do a new task in school that our teachers have said, will you do this for me? Will you help with this role in school? Yes. Or we're learning to protect each other by maybe wearing a mask or maybe staying in our bubbles that you've been asked to stay in. Or maybe, maybe lots of things that are new to you that you're asked to do at the moment because it's a bit challenging at the moment. That's life. We are learning to cope, learning to adjust, learning to be agile. Well, the objects we have today, we have the plastic plant that the farm was trying to grow, and we have the seeds that are there. The seeds remind us of the story of the sower. And in the story, there were thorns that came in, and Jesus said, they're like worries, and we need to stand strong in, we need to be like good soil, and make sure that worries do not spoil us growing because worries can spoil us growing into all that we're meant to grow into as so we want to grow we need to grow we're meant to grow when you were tiny you couldn't do some of the things that you can do now you didn't you were able to maybe the hobbies that you're interested in or the sports or the games you play you could do them maybe Maybe the abilities you've got now, you've realised, well, I can ride a horse. I couldn't when I was younger. I can score a goal. I can, I can climb. I can ride a bike. I can play a musical instrument. I couldn't do those things when I was younger. I've been learning them. And you're learning lots of things in school. You've got new skills, new abilities, new talents that are developing. And that's how it's meant to be. And you're also learning a little bit through our assemblies and I hope elsewhere that God loves you and God cares for you and God's interested in your lives. He really is and he wants to share with you this life journey you're on and into growing into all you're meant to grow into. So let's remember the story today of the sower 
who sowed seeds and he wanted all of his seeds to land in good soil. They didn't all land in good soil. But let's remember to be good soil. Learning all the time. Remembering what we've learned and putting into practice so that we can grow into all we're meant to grow into. To be the people God wants us to be. The people are parents, the people are teachers, the people that we want to be, the people that God's planned for us to be. So let's remember the story today and let's have a great week. Let me pray for you now. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for all of us. Thank you that you've created all of us and you've got great plans. And Lord, help us to be like the seed that was planted in the good soil so that we grow into all you want us to be, all that we want to be. Because Lord, we want to be the very best for our lives, Lord, for our families, for our friends. We want to be the very best in this world you created, Lord. Help us to grow into all that we're meant to grow into. And Lord, help us to keep being like the seeds in the good soil. Amen. Have a great week. It's great to see you again. We'll look forward to meeting again next week on screen. All the best. Bye-bye now. Bye.